Auntie, I'm very excited to go to the clinic with you. Yes, me too. You'll learn so much about things there, and my student, as well as assistant Ayla, is waiting for you. Did you tell her that I was coming with you? Of course. If I get busy, she'll be the one who will accompany you, and I think you will become friends with her easily because she is a very nice and friendly girl. You'll like her a lot. Now I'm even more excited. Ayla, do we have patients waiting right now? Yes, ma'am. Two patients are in line. Then there is a guest here with me. I'll see patients, and you give her some company. Sure, ma'am. I'm coming. You are exactly what Aunt told me about you. <laughs> like what? So easy to talk with, very easy to communicate with, and you do look like a scientist and very close to my ideal. I'm flattered, as you are a fan of science. Why don't I show you where I work? I will. Otherwise, I'm not going back home. But first, I want to eat something because I'm hungry. Okay, let's go to the cafeteria first. You know what, Elsa? Sometimes hunger is good for health. I know my aunt told me that it acts like a mild stressor, and eventually will lead to the formation of NAD, and ultimately by this the lifespan can be extended. Wow, I'm impressed. You're a very keen observer and an excellent learner. Thank you, because I'm really interested to make life easier and free from diseases. I neither want myself to be unhealthy and age more quickly, nor do I want people around me to unnecessarily suffer. Why should we? You're right. You talk so much like your aunt. She has the same ideology, and me as well. As you say, the production of NAD extends lifespan. This NAD can be mimicked by NR. Really? How can NR mimic it? Do we have to take it in the form of a supplement? Yes. It goes through our mouth into our gut, and there it is activated by gut bacteria, and some of it goes into our bloodstream. This blood eventually runs through muscles and brain cells and other cells. There, NR goes through an intermediate molecule, and this NR needs phosphate to convert it into NMN. What is NMN? NMN is nicotinamide mononucleotide. NMN is a product formed when vitamin B3 has sugar in it to form an NR, and then this NR needs a phosphate to form NMN by a thing called NRKs, and this NMN is then converted into an AD that is needed for an extended lifespan. Wow! It's so fascinating to know that every other molecule is linked to another. Science really is interesting for those who want to learn it and play with it. All done. Can we see the labs now? Sure, mate. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and get notified.